Hey guys, it is Dr. Michelle here, also Dr. Prodigy. Welcome. We're continuing on our third grade journey and our topic right now is identifying 2D shapes, specifically matching the name to the shape. I am playing as first mate Devin. This is my godson's old account. He doesn't use Prodigy anymore. And let's see what we've got now. Right. Oh, this looks like a pretty crazy battle going on. I should have switched some of my guys out. You have to remind me to do that. Okay, so now we want a heptagon, and I think I called it a septagon in the last video, but a heptagon has seven sides. All right, so mistakes happen. No big deal. So we're going to count here, and let's pick a different color. We've got one, two, three, four, five sides. Here we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sides. And here we've got one, two, three, four. This is a four. This is a five, six sides. So since a heptagon has, a seven, heptagon sides, has seven sides, it's got to be choice B. Let's see if we get it correct. <gasps> Looks like so. Our magic is re. Old. We're gonna do this guy right here. Oh, it's a I forgot it's a dice one. We never know. <gasps> Whoa, that was crazy. <sniffs> Whoa. Like, I don't know. This is gonna this is kind of crazy. We got defeated pretty quickly. Okay, octagons have eight sides. Octagons look like stop signs. So which one of those looks like a stop sign? Yeah, letter A. Octagons have eight sides. Think about how an octopus has eight legs or arms. So oct means eight. Okay, and I know it doesn't make any sense because October is the 10th month of the year, but it's oct means eight. All right, we got to do some major damage right here. Trip trap. No, that's not going to be enough. I miss it. Well, at least we're fighting one less, but I think Devin is going to be gone pretty soon. All right, parallelograms. Remember in our previous quadrilateral videos, I'm going to draw it the other way. Parallelograms have four sides. Okay, the because parallelograms are quadrilaterals. The opposite sides are parallel, which means they can go on and on forever. So if we look here, this side would never touch this side, assuming I drew it right. Also, these sides, and that one was way off, this side and this side also would never touch the parallel. Opposite sides are also congruent, meaning they have the same size. And opposite angles are congruent. There's tons of reasons that you'll learn more when you get to high school geometry. But the middle one was a parallelogram. All right. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm hoping we can have some success. Oh, I'm so nervous. Don't go after Devin. Don't go after Devin. All right, we've got our star bit. Let's just get rid of Trip Trap. Is that Trip Trap? All right, we're still going against Visceral. You guys probably know how to say it better than me. All right, let's do another question. A trapezoid. Okay, so trapezoids have different meanings depending on where you are. The basic meaning is a trapezoid has one set of parallel sides. So that means that if we look here, this side right here is parallel to this side. So one set of parallel sides. In many countries in the world, they'll call a trapezoid having at least one set of parallel sides, meaning that even a parallelogram could be a trapezoid. But if we look here, this is our trapezoid based on common understanding. Technically, that is called an isosceles trapezoid because the sides have the same measure. 
things. Multi splash. Oh, I should have done them. Oh, that did pretty good. That did really good, actually. Well, if I roll the dice, there's only one creature I can get to. Nine left! No way! Alright, another trapezoid. We learned this on the next slide. Right here. There we go. Other sh shapes were, I think, a heptagon and an octagon. Alright, final, final battle here. There we go. We got some pretty good rewards. Not too bad. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Bye, guys.